need your breadcrumbs. You can keep them. Matter of fact, eat them. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Cece Jacobs. This is a photographic tech channel where I do a lot of videos on tutorials and my photographic journey as I am a fashion photographer. So before you get into this video, subscribe, click the bell, give this video a thumbs up. Also follow my Instagram at imccjacobs. We'll have a lot of the photos that I will be showing on this channel. So in today's video, I will show you how I created this eye look in Bridge. The look I was going for was a godly type look. With their type of eyes, they have a certain glow to their eyes. So the eyes are glowing, including the pupils and everything. So once I get into Bridge, I then press computer, then press my hard drive file or memory stick file name. Once I've clicked into that, I click into the file that I have the image in. Once I've clicked that, then I right click on my image and it should go open, open with, and then open in camera raw. And then obviously you pick camera raw, then that will pop up your image into camera raw. And that's where you start the process of the editing and everything. I started off by first opening my image in Bridge, then right clicking the image and then going down to open camera raw. Once I've clicked into camera raw, the image should just go straight into camera raw. Then there'll be tools at the top of the screen of Bridge where I can select each tool and the tool that I want to go to is the adjustment tool. Once you're in the adjustment tool and how it's set up, then I first start sorting out how big I would like the selection tool to be. So then I minimize it by pressing two of the keys that work on either Mac or Windows. That's also depending on what you prefer to edit on, Mac or Windows. Now, as you can see here, with the tools that I've played with on the right hand side, I have brightened up the eyes and changed the eye color brighter. And then as I keep adjusting it, it will slowly go totally white or it will brighten up the actual eye color to go more brighter in the color itself so as you can see here i start using the eraser to clean up the parts that i don't want in the image along with adding more to the color by using add and now add to the original selection that i've already used rather than making a new one then with this part i quickly fix up the exposure and contrast and anything that I want to adjust in the image just to give it more of darker shades and lighter shades together so you get more of the effect of and how the image would look when the eyes are put together. So once I was done with that, I then go over to save. Once you're in save, then you have a chance to change the name of your image and also the file document that you wanna change, such as TIFF or JPEG. For me, I will change it into TIFF. I'll save two of the images in TIFF and JPEG along with making sure that I know which file. Then once that is done, here's the final images of the before and after and how I changed it and everything. I hope you did enjoy this video and you learned a lot from what I've kind of shown you. So subscribe, click the bell, give this video a thumbs up. Also follow my Instagram at imccjacobs where I'll have a lot of the content that I will be showing off of that Instagram onto this channel as well. So yeah, I'll see you in my next video.